Hi everybody, hope you're all okay today. Today I'm going to do a video on something that I've just received through the post and it's the Pat McGrath and this is the uh, Eye Ecstasy Sublime Palette. So this is why I'm bare eyed at the moment because we're going to do a little try on and see what we think of the formula and things like that. Um, I've been eyeing up these palettes for quite a while. I didn't actually know this one existed, but the other, the little like four pans and uh, the ones with the really fancy packaging, but they're just out of my price range. <laughs> um, but recently they've had a sale on and I saw this one. Now normally it retails for £22. It's a five pan palette, but each pan is only one gram, so they're not huge. Uh, but that's still a lot cheaper than the other palettes but it's actually been on sale for £11 with free postage and I couldn't turn it down. They do do a colourful one as well uh, but sadly that was out of stock so I've just got this one. I will keep my eyes open if the colourful one comes in um, but yeah at point of filming it is still on sale. I don't know how long it will be on for um, but if you do miss it keep checking because I do believe they went on sale a few months ago uh, so it may be that it happens on a regular basis so so just keep your eyes out but let's look in to what we've got uh, so it comes it came in a black box with the Pat McGrath logo on the inside which is really cute and then it's come in this like gold foil and it shows you on the back all the colours and it's got all like little sequins inside um, so my daughter saw the sequins and she's already claimed them so I'm going to have to save them for her um, and do excuse my base makeup uh, there was a bit of an issue this palette wasn't supposed to be coming until Monday I got a message this morning saying that it was coming today uh, so what I did is I put my base makeup on left my eyes waited for the palette then I was supposed to be getting a phone call so when this arrived that phone call was due to happen uh, the person told me they were going to be like 10 minutes late but then it ended up being like almost an hour after and then I had to go and pick up my little girl so I had to wang on mascara so I didn't look like an alien at the school so I've come back I've had to take all that off and start again and my skin's just not liking being cleansed again and makeup reapplied and things like that so I do apologize for that but we're here for the eyeshadows so let's cut it open and have a look at these shadows I picked the most ridiculously small scissors to do this <laughs> oh my god the sequins everywhere <laughs> So inside there's a, a little pamphlet and it just explains a bit more about the brand and things like that so that's quite cute and then we've got the actual palette itself I don't know if it's going to focus but we've got like the gold branding along here and um, obviously these palettes are not as good quality packaging wise as the rest of her makeup but to make it affordable for myself I, I don't care <laughs> look. oh they are pretty inside. they are all shimmers so we will be doing a full shimmer look today which I don't normally do but we'll just get on with it won't we <laughs> so I'll swatch them for you first so you can just see them in a bit more detail these oh my god they are like butter very oddly though, the one what looks red is coming up more of a, like a rusty bronze. So that's them inside, you can see they are super super shimmery. But it's that one <laughs> that looked red in the pan. Uh, it's not so red on the skin, but still a beautiful, beautiful colour. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> so. I just uncreased my primer. I'm trying to think of a way to use every colour just so you can see them all because they are all so 
stunning. Um, I think I am going to start with the red tone, which is called Corruption. And I'm going to try and get it kind of like a smoky eye. So, not seeing a lot of kickback, which is good. This is another reason why I did my base first, because I think with a brand that's a higher price range you shouldn't have to worry as much with fallout and kickback and things like that um so but put it to the test and we'll see so i'm going to concentrate this to the outside and into my crease So yeah, you get a lot of payoff with your colours as well, that's really nice. And um, I'm just going to build it up a little more. So then I'm going to go in with a simple, I think, um, which is like the mid-tone bronze. And I'm just going to use that just in the crease and just slightly above that colour we've already laid down just to make it a little bit more like a transition just to fade it all out a bit. I'm going to get a big brush and just blend it out. So the, the two blend. It's nice to show you. What I've done so far. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush now. I'm gonna go in that darkest colour. I think this is called illicit. It's really hard because they're on the back, so they're like in a reverse order to what you <laughs> you actually seen it in the palette. So I do apologise if I get any of the names wrong. Now this one has got a bit of kickback and a bit of fallout. We've not seen that with the previous ones, but we are getting it with this one so I don't know if it's just because the pigment is much darker um it's a slightly different formula maybe but that's really goes a long way that one oh my goodness I'm just trying to turn it out a little bit I'm gonna go back in with the more red tone just to even that out a little. I didn't expect it to go that far so we lost a little bit of that red. And again I'm just blending it all in. So 
I'm going to go in with that deeper gold now and this is called gold nectar and I'm going to pack that over the lid So again, we've got a bit of fallout on that one, but the colour. <laughs> so I'm going to go underneath now. I'm going to take the mid-tone bronze first. And I'm going to bring that down quite far. Okay. Blending my puffing. <laughs> and then I'm going back more to the copper tone and I'm going to take that all the way across but just in the lash line and then finish the outside corner with our deepest shade just to tie everything in. And I'm just going to blend it slightly as well. blend in the lower lash line and the top lid in together. So we're a bit more uniform. I'm going to take Simple now which is our more champagne gold. This is the lightest colour in the palette and I'm going to use this as an inner corner highlight. It's a bit like when I saw the two paler colours, I was like, I could take them or leave them. But when they go on, they are stunning. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of that under my brow as well. Very and then I'm going to take our first blending brush that has those dark colours on and I'm just going to blend everything in together where the seams are. Then once again, take our big brush and just blend the very top and make sure there's no harsh lines and go into that highlight as well just to make sure we've not got the highlight stripe. So to show you before I flick it off, if it's picking up, there's, there is a bit of um, fallout, especially from the dark colours. So I'm just going to knock that off and hopefully it will come off with a fluffy brush. So yeah, for those dark colours I would still do your eyes first. <laughs> but obviously we wanted to test it out so it's absolutely fine. Um, I'm going shopping later but... <laughs> so I'm going to go off, do my other eye off of camera. Um, I'm trying to remember what I did and do my liner and my lashes and I'll be right back. So that's my completed look and I'll give you a little close up hopefully you can see that. So all I've done is added a waterline eyeliner and 
I used pencil eyeliner on the top, I did a tiny wing and then I smushed it all out just to keep that smoky effect and then just added some lashes so yeah this little palette I love it Um, I don't think I would have bought it at full price just because I've not used her products before I know she's an icon I know she's absolutely amazing and I've heard very good things about her stuff uh, but I'm one of them where if something is a bit more pricey I like to try it out first um, but absolutely stunning um, all of the shades are so buttery they're very metallic and um, I wouldn't normally do a full metallic look but I wanted to show you all the colours but I'm kind of now thinking maybe I should more often because I quite like it Um, it's quite mysterious and beautiful but yeah I really really like it I'm going to be keeping an eye out seeing if the colourful one comes back in stock especially in stock on sale that would be amazing um, but yeah have, have a look um, there's quite a few things that are on sale I think this is the cheapest of the eyeshadow palettes um but yeah I, i'm absolutely thrilled let me know down below what you think and as always thank you for joining me bye